Luke chapter 6 verse 37 Do not judge and you will not be judged Do not condemn and you will not be condemned Forgive and you will be forgiven We all go through disappointments Things that are not fair It's easy to hold on to the hurts To think about the negative things people have said to us To relieve the offense We get up in the morning And it's the first thing that comes to our mind We don't realize how much that is affecting us is souring our attitude, draining our energy, and limiting our creativity. If you are going to fulfill your destiny, you have to get good at letting negative things go out of your life and only meditate on the promises of God and the goodness of God. I believe you will do that. In Luke chapter 17, verse 1, Jesus said, It is impossible that no offenses should come, but woe to him, through whom they do come. Jesus did not say they might come. The Lord Jesus did not say that if you are a good person and you are nice all the time, nobody would do you wrong. He said that disappointments will come, betrayals will come, things that are not fair will come. How you deal with these offenses, how you handle the hurts would determine whether you move forward and see the new things God has in store or whether you get stuck, bitter, or what didn't work out. Therefore, let the hurt go. Don't take the bait of Satan. Don't take the offense into your heart and get bitter. I have heard it say that if you are not healed from emotional wounds, you will bleed on people who had nothing to do with them. How many people are living wounded over how they were raised? a friend who walked away or a business partner who cheated them instead of letting it go. They replay it over and over in their mind, relieving all the hurt. Then they wonder why they don't have good relationships. It is because they haven't healed. They are living out of a wounded place. God brings a new person into their life, somebody great, but they are so insecure. They don't feel valuable or attractive. This new person has to go overboard to make sure they know how great they are. The problem is that it is not sustainable. Until you get well, you cannot develop healthy relationships. Until you stop carrying the hurt, you will burden other people with it. Until you let go of what did not work out, that wound is going to hinder you wherever you go. If you are still wounded over a position you lost unfairly in one company, you will go to a new company being defensive on edge and not friendly. You will treat your new boss and co-workers based on what you have been through, but they had nothing to do with it. It's much more freeing when you learn to let things go. It was not unfair. Yes, God will be your vindicator. He will take care of who did you wrong? It's not your job to pay people back. They hurt you once. Don't let them continue to hurt you by holding on to it. You lost a loved one, which I know is painful, but it's healthy to go through a season of mourning, but you cannot hold on to the hurt. Let us declare that all hurts and wounds no longer have a hold on us. We will forgive everyone who has wronged us and let go of every offense. We will forgive ourselves and we will be free. We declare that God will restore everything that has been taken from us. We declare that our Heavenly Father is in control and He will bring breakthroughs in ways that we could never have imagined. Let us pray. Dear God, we come to you today with an open heart. We understand that when we bury the negative emotions deep inside. They never truly go away. We cannot hold on to anger, hurt, and betrayal or expect them not to affect us. Help us, Lord, to forgive those who have hurt us, no matter how deeply. Help us to forgive just as you have forgiven us. Thank you that you make all things new, that we can experience freedom, joy, and victory in Jesus' name. Amen.